Ajun, it's great to see you back in Hull. What brings you back to the MKM Stadium today? What brought me back? You know, uh, I think my blood brought me back here because uh, now I have all in my body full of Hull City uh, bloods going around. So I can say that for me coming here is like coming my home. We're at the end of the first week of pre-season. Uh, have you spoken to Schotter or any of the players about how preparations for the new campaign are going? Uh, of course. I mean, uh, I'm very close with the team, uh, as you can imagine. And uh, our uh, coach is so involved and so uh, inside everything. We are talking maybe every day, uh, two, three times. And I think we started a very good season uh, with very good uh, uh, practices and everything's going so good. Are you planning on visiting the training ground while you're here? Uh, actually not this time uh, because I have another meeting now uh, in Istanbul tonight. Uh, I just came here uh, to check some details uh, of our new season and uh, I'm going to be back soon again. Uh, all I can say is of course uh, we are in a very critical time of the season that everything will be slowly slowly certain so uh, we cannot miss anything, any detail, so I can come any time here. Uh, I believe uh, you can reveal another friendly that you personally have helped arrange. What can you tell us? Yeah, of course, it's going to be a good friendly uh, against Fenerbahce, uh, Turkish giant. Uh, so I think that it's going to be a good game, a tough game uh, for us to see our team's power. It's going to be important, but from the other side, uh, as you know, um, my another aim is to combine a big country with a big city. So uh, I think it's going to be one of the milestones uh, in this uh, dream. So again, playing against Fenerbahce uh, in uh, Turkey, uh, it's not going to be in Fenerbahce Stadium because uh, they are just constructing some things, but very near to Fenerbahce Stadium. But it's going to be a full stadium for sure. Uh, Fenerbahce fans going to uh, see their teams just after the camp, first time in Turkey. So it's going to be full of energy, uh, the stadium and atmosphere. Uh, and uh, by the way, our team will be able to see uh, Turkey, my country. And I think it's going to be a very, very um, exciting game. I'm sure it'll be a great experience for the players to, uh, to play in Istanbul. I always feel uh, I'm home here and this time our players will feel the same. Uh, the club has been hard at work with negotiations for new players, which I believe you yourself has personally been involved with. Uh, how close are we to confirming any of those deals? That's a good question. I think our fans also wonder what's going on. Uh, first of all, I have to mention and underline something uh, very important. Uh, it has been so tough last uh, one month for us, because uh, in football, transfer is the hardest thing. Uh, you can have the money, sometimes the player cannot come. Uh, maybe sometimes you have the best team, uh, the player don't come because he doesn't want to be the third player, second player. So many reasons can be effective not to make the best transfers. Today, I can uh, say to my uh, biggest fans that we are in a very good point in uh, some transfers. Uh, and they, they were all the number one picks of us in their areas. So I'm so, so happy that uh, we are almost finishing the deals with very important players. And uh, I, I call it in Turkey last 100 meters. Uh, I don't know uh, is there something in uh, English too, but uh, we are just now in the last 100 meters in very big transfers for us, very important transfers. For me, these are the transfers I can say that uh, my dream was. And can you give us any names for people that we're currently in talks with? We have many, by the way, at the moment. Uh, as I told before the break, summer break, I told that we're going to make uh, good transfers and it's not going to be two three transfers. It's going to be more than that. So uh, I can say that, for example, Ozan, uh, as in the press, uh, is very, very close to Hull City now. Uh, for me, a fantastic player. He has been more than 60 times in the Turkish national team in 27 years age. He has been in Fenerbahce so many years, so I can say that I know him from Fenerbahce. He is one of the players I was a fan of, so I think he is one of the God's gift to us that he's going to be able to play here. 
uh, maybe our supporters uh, cannot imagine what I'm meaning now, but as a liar I told before, thanks to them that they uh, believed in us and uh, they just saw a very good talent here. Ozan is also one of the uh, biggest players of Turkish football and uh, he's going to be very effective. But uh, these kind of players, some of them, are because of uh, my relations with the players uh, depending on years and depending on trust. So these players uh, believe in us, believe in me first, then believe in the club. Uh, and by the way, I'm very, very proud that uh, our club, of course they believe in, us, in me, but they cannot come to a uh, just a journey which they don't believe, even if they love me. So two things together happened. Uh, what I saw in last month is the, they believed in me, but they believed in the club too. So uh, I'm very proud to own a club like House City that when I'm talking to a player, I can convince him to come. Sometimes, uh, of course, you have a club, but the player says, OK, Arjun Abi, I love you, but I cannot come. But this club, uh, because of the history, because of the supporters and fans, because of the things I talk about the club to some people, uh, what I'm talking about was everything was true. So when they listen to me, they say, OK, I'm in. That's something I like and I'm very, very proud about it. Uh, last six months I've been spending in Hull City. Uh, I can say that I only felt love from the people, love from the supporters. So when I say to the players, you're going to feel the same. You're going to feel the love. You're going to feel so good passion from the supporters. They're going to just uh, show their passion every time they're going to see you. They say, is it true? Is it true? Then they say, OK, I mean. So I'm very happy that uh, we could convince uh, Ozan. And it didn't take us uh, long to convince him. Uh, Fenerbahce part was a little complicated because you are buying a player uh, from a very big club. Uh, the, one of the biggest clubs of Turkey. So uh, thank God that the president is a very good friend of mine. We trust each other 100%. So uh, thank to Fenerbahce president uh, Ali Koç that he just uh, supported us in this transfer. And now we're going to have one of the highest quality of uh, football players of Turkey uh, on this ground. Uh, second, uh, to just uh, say, I can say that we are very uh, close to signing, maybe when it's on air, we're going to be uh, signing almost, uh, is uh, Traore, Adamo Traore. Uh, Monaco origin, a very good talent player, and he showed his talent in Turkish league again. And we were all watching him and we were all a fan of him. Uh, when he was playing, he was making magical things. And I'm sure that our supporters will love him. Uh, apart from that, I would say, uh, of course, we have uh, some more players uh, and there are very exciting players. I will uh, try to, of course, update you when we come to the last 100 meters. OK, but uh, what I can say is uh, I want to just say to all our fans, uh, this year's team uh, maybe will not be the most expensive team. But this team will be a very good team with very good players and with the very, very good supporters. I'm sure that uh, we're going to be uh, for sure in the first of all top half of the league and very, very close to uh, top six chance I think we can have if uh, the team just uh, merge quickly and become united easily and with our uh, coach, of course, uh, uh, Shota Arvaladze, who is giving everything he has here, uh, I think the team uh, will be one of the candidates uh, for top six. Sounds like a very exciting time for the club. I'm sure fans will really appreciate those words. Uh, off the field, uh, we've seen a lot of changes in recent weeks, in particular the new membership pricing structure and the new layout of the stadium here at the MKM. Um, New memberships go on sale on Wednesday. Have you got a message for the fans who are considering signing up? First of all, I love our fans. Uh, they are terrific. Uh, the way they support the team, giving their hearts on to the team is so important. And now I think it's time uh, to be united again, be a 
family, we are already uh, a family, but uh, show everybody that we are a family with the numbers of sales. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm very, very okay to spend money for this beautiful club. And I will do my duty uh, as much as I can. All we want from our fans is to support us coming to the stadium, support their team. First of all, I'm going to give an example to you. Uh, I asked our people about our merchandising. I said, how many did we sell? They said the number. Okay. And uh, when it was the end of the season, almost everything was sold out. I said, uh, nothing left and nobody could buy something. And they said, you have to order it before. So it's not easy. You come and order and you get in two weeks. You have to order it maybe one year before, six months before. Okay, I said. Now I'm giving the order. Four times more than the last year. Now I ordered our people to just bring here merchandising with the new and interesting designs, by the way. We have just new designers. By the way, all of our merchandising was good, but just to improve more and more, we are pushing. Now we're going to have four times more merchandising uh, ready for our fans to buy. So when you buy the merchandising, when you buy uh, the uh, stadium uh, seats, uh, that's what our fans uh, have to do as much as they can. I always say the same in Turkey too. I don't want our fans to just give damage to their financial uh, positions. I know what it is to coming from zero. So I had a time, I didn't have the ticket money and I couldn't go to the games. I really appreciate even they don't come, their heart is enough for us. But if they can afford it, for me, we are expecting our fans to have record numbers in the seat sales. Uh, I want to see these numbers. I want to share it with everybody. I want to be uh, motivated so that uh, we can spend more and more. Uh, this is like a chain reaction. Uh, starting from the fans, but this time I took this responsibility and let's say it's starting from our side. So I'm going to make a very good team. They're going to love the team. And if they support us uh, with buying more tickets and more supporters come, of course, we're going to be more powerful. When we are more powerful, what we're going to do is spend this extra budget for the extra players. So uh, think like this. We will have a very good team without anything change. If we have the change, now we're going to have a better, better team. And this team will be making people more happy. So everything at the end of the day is depending on fans. Uh, our fans show their power in the away games. I really appreciate. They are going all the way supporting this team. Last game uh, with these colorful clothes, fantastic. I love my fans. And uh, I hope we have the same uh, for the next season. And these numbers will make us to be a bigger team, bigger team, bigger team. And why not to be one of the biggest team of in England? Uh, I always say I dreamt and uh, my dream came true. Now it's time to dream together for the new victories. One family, one dream, as we say. Yes, uh, that's something uh, in my soul, you know. We are one family and one dream. And I suppose finally, you've kind of touched on it already, but what are you hoping for for the 22-23 campaign? Hoping, you know, uh, sometimes you do everything, but success is not the guarantee. If it was like this, then we wouldn't have the adrenaline here uh, to watch the games. Everything would be guaranteed. So every goal is so important when you watch the games. But for the next season, I can promise something 100%. There will be a very good change in the team. This is for, for sure. And we're going to be 
a much, much better team because we had a very nice team with the young talents, which I always appreciate that uh, they could stay in the championship even if there was no transfers, except for Allahyar. And we had some more, but I wouldn't say that they were so much inside the game in the second half of the season. So for the next year, I can say that uh, they will see a team that will entertain them. Very offensive team. I'm spending almost five, six hours on the phone for the deals to be done. And I have one, two very good uh, surprises, I hope. Uh, but I need some motivation, by the way. Uh, and please uh, support us in uh, ticket sales. And this team will entertain everybody. Uh, very offensive team, uh, talented players. About the results, I can only say that I'm not the god, but hopefully the results will be good. And our aim is, uh, first of all, uh, top half, but mainly I'm dreaming of playoffs. And my new dream is now is to go to the playoffs. I hope it comes through. Well, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. And I'm sure all the fans will be loving to hear those, those words. Thank you to all my fans. I love you all and looking forward to see you soon. Uh, I'm counting the days of the first game here and I'll be here with you. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Trust me. <laughs>